Hello and welcome to this lesson on national insurance with me, Mr McIver, at the London Central and North West Maths Hub. This follows on directly from the lesson on income tax, so you should watch that one first to make sense of this one. National insurance. As we said in the income tax lesson, populations pay taxes to local and national government. And local and national government provide services. National insurance is a particular type of tax. Strictly speaking, it's not an income tax, it is a kind of insurance. It insures you against old age in the form of paying pensions, against illness, it provides health care and against unemployment. Your national insurance charges are supposed to cover your unemployment benefits. In fact, nowadays, all these things are bundled in with general taxation and national insurance is a bit of a historical anachronism. However, it is calculated separately and you need to know how to work it out. So let's look at what the Treasury say about national insurance. You pay Class 1 national insurance contributions. Those are the insurance contributions you pay if you are employed by someone else. It's slightly different if you are self-employed at the following rates. And there are two very important differences between national insurance and income tax. First, national insurance is worked out on your weekly income. If, for instance, you have a summer job as a student and you earn £200 a week for eight weeks, you will earn £1,600 altogether. That falls way below the tax threshold for people to pay income tax. However, £200 a week is above the £155 per week threshold for national insurance, so you do pay national insurance. National insurance figures are worked out on weekly income. The second rather odd thing about national insurance is that the rate at which you pay it actually goes down as you earn more. We'll look at why this might be the case in a little while. First of all, Let's look at what somebody pays. A low earner on £10,000 per annum. The first thing we have to do is draw a set of axes showing their income and draw in a threshold marker at which point they start paying national insurance. They pay no national insurance on that first £8,064 but they do pay national insurance on this little bit of income up here. So all we have to do is work out what size that slice is and work out 12% of that amount. So the national insurance calculation is as follows. We do 10,000, take away 8064, the basic threshold, and get 1936. We pay 12% of that £1,936, which comes out as £232.32. £32. We pay nothing on the first 8064, so our total national insurance payable is £232.32. For a higher earner on £20,000 a year, as ever, we draw in our axes, we pop in our threshold, and we calculate the national insurance slice by slice. So, down at the bottom we pay 0%, and on this slice up here we pay 12%. 20,000 minus 8064, 11136, we work out 12% of 11136 and get 113632. We pay nothing on the first 8064, so the total national insurance payable is 1336 and 32 pence. Now let's look at the case where someone's on a higher income and they cross over into this £827 a week plus bracket when, strangely it would seem, their rate of national insurance goes down. We'll take someone on £100,000 a year. There they are, £100,000. We've drawn the block of money going up to £100,000. And we now draw in the national insurance thresholds. There's one at £8,064. There's another one at £42,996. We work out the national insurance slice by slice. So, first of all, let's... Look at this top slice here. We have to do 100,000 minus 42996 and we get 57004. We need to figure out 2% of that and we get 1,148 
pence. OK, next slice down looks like £34,932. So we work out 12% of that amount. And we get £4,191.84. Interesting, they're paying a lot more national insurance on this 34000 than on this 57000 And finally, down at the bottom there, £8,064 is NI rate zero. So their total national insurance bill is £5,331.92. Now let's look at why this rate actually goes down as the income goes up. It all comes down to the previous session. You see, national insurance isn't the only kind of deduction you have when you earn money. The much better known one is income tax. Here's national insurance, the one we'll be looking at today. But income tax is a separate and parallel system for deducting money from your wages before you are paid them. In reality, Income tax and national insurance get added together into a kind of big deductions bill, which for practical purposes, most people regard as their total income tax bill. Let's look at what happens now when we put these two sets of calculations side by side. First of all, quick reminder, here are the income tax thresholds, bit difference from the national insurance thresholds, and of course, they are calculated annually. Remember, we don't look at cases above £100,000 because the situation gets a little bit complex. OK, let's look at the low income. £10,000 a year. We've already established that this person crosses the national insurance threshold and pays £232.32 a year. However, if you remember from the last session, when you do their income tax calculation, their £10,000 income doesn't actually reach the £11,000 threshold for the 20% tax rate to start. They pay no income tax. So we say their total deductions are £232.32 pence because it's just that figure plus no tax. For somebody on a slightly higher wage, like £20,000 a year, well, we've already looked at this calculation. Their national insurance bill is £1,336.32. And to work out their income tax bill, there's their £20,000. There's the £11,000 tax threshold, at which point they start paying the basic rate of income tax. So there's £9,000 up here that's taxed at 20%. And of course, £11,000 down here, which is taxed at 0%, giving a total tax bill of £0 plus £1,800. And total deductions of those two figures at the bottom of the page added together. Notice that for this person, the national insurance charge is quite significant, but it's been overtaken by the tax bill. Now let's look at someone on a really high income, say £100,000 per year. Here is their national insurance calculation. We've done this one already. 2% of 57,004, 12% on this 34,932 figure, giving them a total national insurance bill in excess of £5,000 a year. Alongside that, we have to put their income tax bill. There's their £100,000 salary. They passed the £11,000 threshold. They passed the £43,000 threshold. So to work out their taxes, we have to work out the size of this slice, £57,000, and tax it at 40%. We work out the size of this slice here, £32,000, and tax it at 20%. And finally, the £11,000 at the bottom is taxed at 0%, resulting in a total tax bill of 40% of 57000 plus 20% of 32000 leading to total deductions of £34,531.92. Notice that for this high earner, the income tax bill far outweighs the national insurance bill. Also notice that the thresholds higher up the pay scale are almost identical. And this is why the rates look so strange. You see, at £8,064, they start paying national insurance. 
At £11,000, they start paying tax. Those two thresholds are slightly different. But at £42,996, near enough 43000 their NI rate drops. That is almost exactly the same figure, 43000 at which their income tax rate rises from 20% to 40%. So that 20% jump in income tax rates is sort of offset by a 10% drop in national insurance rates. Their total bill goes up slightly, but not as much as the tax rate would suggest because it's being compensated for in part by the reduction in NI. So if you look at someone's what we call marginal tax rate, in this bracket here, 12% plus 20%, their marginal rate of taxation is around 32% whereas above 43,000, their marginal rate is 42%. 10% higher than before, but not 20% higher. And even at the very top rate of income tax of 45% per annum, when you add that to a national insurance rate of 2%, the total marginal rate is 47%, which stays just below 50%. And I rather think that's why those rates are paid the way they are, so that nobody is seen to be paying a marginal rate in excess of 50%. That's just my opinion. So now let's look at how you work this out in practice using the two calculations side by side to work out what somebody actually gets as their take-home pay. We're going to look at quite a high earner, someone on £50,000 a year, 50000 per annum. First of all, we'll do the national insurance calculation using the national insurance rates provided by the Inland Revenue. And we see that at £50,000 per annum, they passed the first threshold at 8064 and also the second threshold. So, there's their £50,000, there's the first threshold, there's the second threshold. We figure out the charges slice by slice. First of all, that top slice of £7,004 faces an NI rate of 2%. Then the next slice of £34,932 faces a rate of 12%. And finally, the £8,064 at the bottom is charged at 0%. So the NI calculation is as follows. 2% of 7,004 plus 12% of 34,932. And then alongside that calculation, we draw a new set of axes based on these allowances here. There's the 11,000 tax threshold at which the basic rate of 20% comes into play. And there is the next threshold of 43,000 where the higher tax rate comes into pay. On this slice at the top, 7,000 pounds, they are taxed at 40%. On the next slice down, 32,000 pounds, they are taxed at 20%. And finally, the 11,000 at the bottom faces no income tax whatsoever. So the tax calculation is 40% of 7,000 plus 20% of 32,000. So their total deductions are tax plus national insurance £13,531.92. And you might like to work out what does that make the average charge rate of tax and NI combined for this relatively high earner. You might need to look back at your notes from the income tax session to check up on how to figure that out. To sum up, national insurance works very like tax, but the thresholds are different. Almost the same at this level, slightly different for when you start paying. The other big difference is income tax is worked out on your annual income, whereas National insurance is worked out in your weekly income. So you start paying national insurance at a much, much lower rate of pay than you pay income tax. Complete the task that you've been set on paper. That's it for this session.